we have Mason and David from PAX 8. Uh, today, they're going to be presenting on a, uh, a password manager tool called LastPass. Uh, these days, with so many passwords and such a focus on security, uh, and for good reason, a password manager it can be an excellent tool for your organization or for you as an individual. Uh, this particular a solution, and we think it's great, we use it here at Code of Bears. It's, it's a cross-platform, cross-device. It runs on PCs, uh, a phone to Android or iOS, your tablets, and of course, all major web browsers. Uh, you get an encrypted vault to store all your information. Uh, the tool will generate and store secure passwords. Uh, with, with the business versions, you can share uh, the folders across organizations and teams. And uh, the solution also supports single sign-on and multi-factor authentication for the business version. So that's just kind of a quick overview. I'm going to turn it over uh, to uh, a Mason is going to do the presenting, I believe. So uh, without further ado, take it away, Mason. Thanks, Bill. Yeah, good to be here, everyone. Um, my name is Mason Grandy, uh, Security Solutions Consultant here at PAX8. We're partnering with Coda Bears for a number of solutions. Uh, I know we've been doing this, this uh, Lunch and Learn series. Excited to talk to you guys about LastPass today. Um, one of my favorite solutions. I use it personally. Um, can't imagine going back to, to not using a password manager. Um, so definitely want to talk about why it's such an important tool to, to use from a security perspective, from a productivity perspective. Um, and also just want to show you the user experience. I'll show you the portal, what it looks like, and what you can expect um, if you move forward with the solution. So Bill, real quick, can you make me a presenter? At the moment, uh, I don't think I have the ability to present my screen. Did I lose you, Bill? I got it. Sorry about that. You should have it now. Just a sec, Mason. I got the wrong. Uh, yeah, you should have it. There you go. All right. Can you hear me now? Sorry, I was on mute there for a sec. Yep. You sound great. Perfect. Thanks, Bill. Awesome. Well, guys, I promise I'm not going to bore you to death with uh, with slides. But just want to kick off with a little background on that last pass, talk about why uh, it's important. Um, this is one of the uh, leading, probably the leading password manager um, on the market today. I'm sure many of you have heard it. Maybe some of you actually use the personal version. Um, I've started doing so, but um, you know they're all over the world. They, again, lead the market as far as password management, almost 4,000 employees. Um, Present in the consumer space, in the business space, in the enterprise space. Um, so really, there there isn't a password manager that's that's bigger than LastPass. So we're really excited to be working with them um, and, and offering this uh, to you guys. Yeah, over seventy thousand business clients today, winner of numerous awards when it comes to password management. Uh, they really were the the original uh, password wallet. Okay, so let's talk about why why do I need a, a password manager? Uh, well, there's really two things here. Uh, one is going to be a security focus. Um, just quick stat, you know, 80% of data breaches are due to compromised credentials or old or reused credentials. Um, when you think about the amount of websites, applications, services that we need to log into on a daily basis, um, if you're not using a password manager, either you need to be writing them down manually in an Excel spreadsheet or doing what I did back in the day, which was reusing the same password. Um, and I was notorious for that before I, I get, got into the you know security world, the world of cybersecurity. Um, I use the same password for, for everything. And what happens with that is if there is a breach, right? Uh, you hear about these all the time. Equifax breach um, happen at, you know, at, every month they're in the news. All, all an attacker needs is one password, and now they have access to your entire system, uh, especially if it's reused. So it's very, very dangerous to be reusing passwords. And so if you do need to have a unique password for logging into each of your services, you have to have a tool to manage that. Um, and, and, and that's where LastPass comes in. Not only is it going to make you more secure, but it's also going to make accessing your, your 
uh, your websites, your tools that you need to much, much easier. Um, from personal experience, you know, I used to always have to do the, the forgot my password reset. We all know how much of a pain that is. Um, that's become a thing in the past. I actually don't know any of my passwords now, now that I use LastPass. Um, I just let the, the, uh, the client, the tool, fill it for me. Um, so it's a massive time saver. So just quick, real quick, what is LastPass? Technically, it is, as you imagine, it's a password wallet, um, usually taking the form of a browser plugin. So a piece of software that is going to automatically fill uh, usernames and passwords. It's going to automatically pick up usernames and passwords as you do create them. Okay, And it's all going to be uh, stored in an encrypted vault that only you have access to. Okay, uh, it does. LastPass does use zero trust architecture. You and only you have access to your uh, credentials and passwords. Now there is the ability to do shared passwords, and I'll get to that a little bit in the demo. Um, but it's an extremely secure solution uh, used by, again, business, consumer alike, um, which will save you save you a ton of time and improve your security posture. Now LastPass has expanded outside of just a password manager. They also offer single sign-on and multi-factor authentication. And allow me just to define what those are. Single sign-on is when I um, would register applications to actually no longer require a password. So instead of putting in a password, I would go there and it would ask me to authenticate, potentially through a, a code or a face ID or a fingerprint. So it's actually a passwordless experience to access your apps. So you can do that through, through LastPass. And then multi-factor authentication would be that authentication method. So a code or a, you know biometric authentication or a face ID. Um, many of you may do face IDs with, with iPhones. That is a form of, of biometric authentication. So you, you have that as an option through, through LastPass. So just to kind of give you an idea of all the features that you're going to get, if you do move forward, it's a password manager first, has a single sign on an MFA add-on, but it's, it has features like autofilling. It's a password vault. You do have shared folders. Um, you can store addresses, um, credit cards, um, a whole lot of, of, of other items in your, in your vault as well. And it also does dark web monitoring. So if there is a breach, if credentials are exposed, you'll be alerted to that. So it's a nice uh, feature there that, that LastPass has for you. So problems that we're solving for, right? Why, again, why, why do we need a LastPass? Uh, why do we need a password manager? Well, again, we're gonna improve our security posture by having good password sanitation. We're not gonna be reusing passwords. Um, we're going to have good password policies in place, so they're complex. Um, password resets, that's going to become a thing of the past. I haven't had to reset my password in a long, long time unless actually forced to, uh, you know, due to it, you know, being a password for too long. Other than that, I don't ever forget my password because my LastPass works on my browser and my phone. So wherever I am, I have it. I have it auto-filling anywhere I'm trying to access, um, you know. Shadow IT, your remote workforce, essentially what these things mean. Um, it's, it allows us to see where people are potentially putting in credentials if they're accessing uh, unauthorized uh, websites. LastPass will, will show us that. And also, excuse me there, um, with uh, the frequent change in a workforce, it's important to know who has access to what. And so LastPass does allow you to, to track that when you offboard employees from an organization you can simply remove their LastPass account and they will lose, that, lose access to all those credentials. So streamlining that offboarding process. Um, so some business outcomes for you. Again, in, increased security, no more password resets. Um, you need to know one password to access all your passwords moving forward. It's gonna save you a ton of time. Um, automatically save those new passwords as they're created. And again, if you wanted to have single sign on MFA, you could, you could do that through, through LastPass. So at a high level, that's what you're gonna get with the product. Uh, I wanna jump in now and show you the platform, show you its capabilities, and then we can op open up to uh, questions at the end. So give me a second here. Just gonna pause share my screen. All right, can you all see my screen? Yep, looks fine, I see Google up there. Perfect. So as far as end user experience, um, you're really gonna primarily access your LastPass solution via a browser plugin, okay? It's just a small little Chrome plugin, works on all major browsers, I'm using Chrome. 
um, I would come in here and click that that uh, that little plugin button, and it's going to open up a small menu here. Okay, it's going to show me my recently used passwords. Um, I can come in here and see a list of all my my items. Um, I can quickly generate a secure password. Let's actually go ahead and open my vault um, so we can see what this looks like. So this is your last pass vault. As an end user, this is what you'll have access to. Um, within my vault, okay, right now I'm showing all my items. So I can see I have actually two accounts linked here. This is one of the benefits of LastPass. I have my business account through Pax8 where I store all of my work credentials. Okay, I'm often in demo portals, demo and solutions like this. Those are all uh, found right here. And I actually have a personal LastPass account as well. And if you guys do move forward with a LastPass business account, they actually provide you a personal account for free. So here you can see I've actually linked my personal um, account and I have all of my own personal passwords and credentials here that I can access. Um, what's nice is by keeping them separate, if I was ever to leave an organization, I can take my personal account with me and my business account, again, would you know would be deleted or, or archived by my organization. So really effectively organized here, I can add subfolders, organize these however I, I would like. Two ways I can access the site. So I can come here, I can go ahead and, and so here's gonna go ADP, right, uh, HR software. I can go ahead and, and launch this and it's gonna bring me right to, um, it's actually gonna log me in directly. Oh, in this case not, but you'll see here, this actually has the, uh, the browser plugin. Go ahead and click that little icon. It's gonna grab my username and it's gonna recognize my password, not my password. And so this is the experience you're gonna see. I mean, it's pretty straightforward for any, uh, Authentication with username and password. LastPass is going to pick that up and automatically fill that for you guys. Okay. Also, whenever I am creating a new password, or I'm prompted to create a new password, all I have to do is come here into LastPass. I can generate a secure password. I can determine the length. You know, if I need uppercase, lowercase, whatever I need, it'll generate that. I can copy it, paste it, and when I create that password, it'll be automatically saved into my vault. So a ton, ton of time savings there. Another example, if I was just to come to um, you know, my Simulate portal, one of the products that I, that I demo, you'd see my, my username and password are, are already filled here, ready to go. So you get the point. I won't, I won't uh, beat that anymore, but um, the time savings that that creates really is, is immeasurable. Um, especially when you're using a lot of different applications, a lot of different websites, um, it's going to make your life a hell of a lot easier. Excuse my language. Um, I have, you know, can't imagine going back uh, without a password manager. But it's, it's more than just passwords too. So I also can do notes, I can do addresses, I can autofill uh, payment cards and bank information as well. So from a personal standpoint, um, I can use a lot of these other features as well. So that, that is the password wallet, pretty, pretty straightforward. Um, like I mentioned, if you do move forward with LastPass, you're gonna get the family's benefit. You'll get a LastPass family's account for free. Usually that's actually charged. And so I can actually provide five users in my family access to a LastPass personal account at no extra charge for all my, my personal information, okay? Um, beyond that, there is what's called a sharing center, okay? I can use LastPass to share credentials within my organization. So a use case here is, you know, I have a, a, a department or a number of employees that need to share a set of credentials. Right, what's a good way to, to do that? Well, with the sharing center, I can go ahead and create a shared folder and uh, actually drag credentials in there for my colleagues to access. And I can specify based on a number of groups who can access that. So it could be, right, just C-level can access these, um, but instead of having them in an Excel worksheet or on a Word document, I can store them in an encrypted vault here and easily share in between, uh, in between uh, my, my colleagues. Okay. All right, so that, that is really the end user experience, relatively straightforward. Um, one thing I do wanna point out though, if you guys did move forward with the single sign-on add-on, uh, which is an option through a LastPass, what that experience would look like, um, I actually don't have any SSO apps set up here, but I'll be able to click on that cloud apps and I would have a list of all of my applications I need to access. So uh, say Microsoft 365, um, Rike, um, you know, think of all the cloud applications you use, they'd all be listed here. 
if they are SSO compatible. I would simply double click on that application. It would ask me to authenticate, usually through like a push notification, and I would have access to the application. So it totally removes the need for a password entirely. Um, that's, a, that's a passwordless experience. And so when you combine that, so the idea is for all my applications that are single sign-on uh, compatible, I register those with single sign-on, right? I have no password. I just authenticate through, through a you know, touch ID or a code. For everything that is not single sign-on compatible, I have my LastPass vault auto-filling. So the business outcome, business outcome ultimately is I only need to know one password and I can access all of my applications and websites that I need to in the day. So that, that's a pretty powerful, uh, pretty powerful idea. Now, one thing that raises is, okay, um, well, what if someone gets access to my vault? How do I protect my vault? And that's where multi-factor authentication comes in. Um, yes, there's only one password to get into your vault, but it will require you to authenticate uh, or should require you to authenticate with, uh, again, a face ID, another form to improve that, that security posture. So that's going to be the end user experience. Um, I also want to, I want to transition now to the admin console. So just so you're aware of the, the further capabilities of LastPass, um, this is where I can actually manage uh, my company. So I'll be able to add all my users here. I can sync LastPass directly to um, Azure Active Directory or 365. So it automatically adds users uh, as you create them in Office 365. Uh, I can have different groups here of users that might have access to different shared folders or permissions within LastPass. Here's a list of, of all the shared folders so as an example, right? I would you know, have a, I'd create a folder, I would assign a number of users to that, that folder, and now those, those dedicated people could, could access those passwords assigned to them, okay? Um, I can get some great reporting on user activity, who is logging in where, uh, as you can see here, right? Show me login to, um, oh, show me actually within LastPass, but show me where I'm logging in, Simulate, ADP, Iron Scales, right? These are all websites that I'm using, so you can actually track employee uh, behavior and where they're logging in on a daily basis through LastPass. I can also get reports on my security posture. How many passwords have been reused? Do I want to, you know, enforce uh, a password reset so people are not reusing those? You have that ability here um, to see where people may be, you know, lacking or they could improve some of their uh, their security posture. And then finally, there's a login report telling you. Um, how often your users are, are using the solution. So some good reporting there, nothing crazy. What I do want to show you here is under settings, is it all the, uh, the policies, right? So as an organization, I can set policies to improve our security posture. And this may be something that Code of Bears will help you guys with. Um, things like, if I come here under, under, uh, under default, do I want to prohibit the, the reuse of, of passwords? Do I want to log mobile activity? Do I want to establish a minimum character count? Right? How complex do passwords have to be? Uh, I can configure all of that here uh, within LastPass um, console. Do I want to automatically log out of my wallet every time I close my browser? Um, do I want to require multi-factor authentication? So I won't get too deep into it, but I have a whole range of security uh, policies I can put in place and password rules to put in place to make sure that we're following best practices and securing our organization um, against credential theft or, or credential loss. And that is something that Code of Bears would probably have a, a best practice put in place that you guys could, could implement um, if you did move forward. Okay. Now, Code of Bears will be able, will be able to help you manage, uh, set up users, set up policies, but they're actually not going to have access to your vault whatsoever. It's a zero trust model. They'd have uh, no access uh, to your vault, so the passwords would be entirely uh, self-managed from that perspective. So it's a fairly straightforward solution, um, you know, especially when you look at the end user experience, but really can't be understated how much time you guys would save uh, with the password manager. Um, again, both in the browser and from your mobile uh, iOS, you, you'll have that, that ability. Uh, to, to use the, the wallet. So I want to open it up now, see if there's any questions, um, any feedback. Uh, I know we have some time left here, but um, 
And yes, everyone is actually muted. So if you have questions, please type them into the chat window. I will read them and then we will answer them. Awesome. Sorry, I didn't mention that earlier. <laughs> Well, nothing yet. I guess you did such a great job, Mason, that they don't even have any questions. <laughs> Actually, I have a question. Please. Um, in like I've used LastPass personally for a while. I'm just looking to put it in my wife's small company. When you share something in LastPass to other work users, it sounded mm -hmm. like if you changed the password, you had to reshare it after the password changed. Is the same true if you have a shared folder and you have people with permissions and you change a password on there? Do you have to reshare it or does it share to everybody automatically? Yeah, uh, it should be it should share to everyone automatically. So it yeah, it would be kind of a live update. You wouldn't need to reshare at that point. Good question, Mike. We have a question from John. What about the capability to import? Yeah, we did mention question. 365 is integrated with it already. Yep, yep. So talking about importing passwords potentially from another provider. So you do have that capability through LastPass, which is really nice. Um, you, you can source from a number of you know, other password managers here. I can import directly. Or at the very least, you know, if you just um, put in a, a uh, format it in a CSV, LastPass can ingest those passwords, uh, which is very nice. Great question. Anybody else with any questions? Okay, well, I guess that's all the questions that we had. Uh, as usual, you can contact anyone here at Code Bears if you're interested in discussing this solution further or in, uh, in purchasing it, we would be happy to help you. And you can always write to sales at codebears.com. And I mentioned at the beginning that all of these uh, Lunch and Learns will be posted to our YouTube channel. And if you would like to be on the distribution list to get an email when a new uh, recording is posted up to YouTube, just send a note to sales at codabears.com and we'll be happy to put you on the list. Awesome. I don't see any more questions. I think we're all set. I thank you all for your time. I thank you, Mason and David as well uh, for presenting. Thanks so much for having me. Thanks, Bill. Thanks everyone for attending and uh, hopefully we'll see you next week.